I'm not even sure where to begin. Tell me if you see anything you uh you like the look of. There's a cute. real quick. Just keep on looking. Snag that. Well, usually they do it over there. Yeah, that's a cool set. I think I might have to ask if I can put these down. I knew it would happen. Hello. Hello. Is it okay if I put some things down? I don't want to be in your way. Thank you very much. Yes, you can pop your thing down there as well. We'll just keep them all together. All right. Oh, don't even worry. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> if you are getting that, oh, never mind. <laughs> what we... If you are getting that, you don't need to hold it. You can just, just put it on your head. I love that. Where was that? There it is. Yeah, it's kind of beaten up. Oh well. I thought Sissy May would have liked that for Taylor guitars. All right. Let's make our way through this. Oh, I think we just found a pocket of vintage t shirt, maybe? No, just the one? That's okay. That's flipping awesome. How much? And it's single stitch. Love it. Oh, 
Oh, I bet I can. Mom, you just made him fall over. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to get to the jacket. <laughs> how about we do that? I'll watch my step. Thank you. <laughs> Oops. There's like a little stool here. Oh, maybe not. Oh, Dad's going to be disappointed. He, he just said that he doesn't want anything. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh. And his dad's voice. Oh. For last time. Gotcha. Um, well, that's cool. Yeah, I think we will. We'll take a walk around the whole thing. I'm just trying to do like one section at a time, I guess. I'm getting like hooked up on everything. This is a miniature nightmare. Son of a gun. if these are the prices or can i ask you a quick question are the prices the actual prices no, no. we're fairly cheap oh gotcha <laughs> you're kind of wanting to get rid of things right yes five dollars for that yeah i know i was okay. wondering <laughs> like these? yes yeah there's more of them in yeah. there i just set one in all right yeah. we got a whole tarp out if you need to keep oh thank you i think i'm ready Oh, is there really? We have a trail, and then we got the things for the kids to play oh, on. Oh, amazing. Let's go and check that's it. why it says welcome. Go yeah. Play. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. okay. I think I'm ready. All right. So what do we got here? The books. Now, yeah. how, do you, how many? Most of these are like, let's see. So it's a mixture. Oh, yeah. You oh, charge just whatever you want to. <laughs> All clothes? Yeah, there's a stuffed toy at the bottom. Okay. Uh, you want to do 30? Would that be okay? All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, me too. All right, wonderful, thank you. Uh, I. Is there more over there? No, there's these and one big one. Oh, uh, right, gotcha. And just trying to figure out a safe way because they're very, very fragile. Oh, goodness. I was wondering about that. How much is she? I know her granddaughter that she watches the movie every night. I don't know. What she goes to bed. Oh, wow, they're gone with the wind. Huh? Oh, goodness. They are pretty, but. How much would Sophia be? <laughs> Any idea? <laughs> what would you pay? Oh gosh, I'm not sure. A couple of dollars? Would that be okay? Or is she worth more than that? I'm not sure. probably worth more than that. More than that. Oh, gotcha, okay. But, you know, I'd take like five. Like five? All right. You need some bags or you? I'm about my bag. I'm gonna give you five for the dollar. Thank you very much. All right, would you be able to help me carry? Do you think? 
Yeah. There's probably going to be a couple. Well, I think it probably will be, but that's okay. We'll get our exercise in. You All right, you guys, welcome to the haul from this church rummage sale. So I'm going to go through this stuff super fast because I have a giant bag here full of like clothing and things like that. And then a few hard goods kind of floating around in the back. It's a whole lot to get through. So let's do it quickly. All right, the first couple of things we have is a pair of Tupperware vintage salt and pepper shakers. Oh, I should mention as well, I think I paid at the end of this a total of $35. I actually ended up getting a few extra items um, one after the other and paying a few different times, but it came to 35 total. Okay, next, I didn't catch this on camera, but I found this super sweet, brand new little uh, Barbie, I guess, what, it, what it would it be? Like a tea set, like a little kid's tea set or whatever. Um, but like I said, brand new in the box and it looks like this one is from 1984. Again, not super sure of the value, but prices were so cheap here that I did just go ahead and grab a few things um kind of on a hunch and we'll have to see what the value is a little bit later on and if it's worth actually listing a couple of ties that I just thought were very cool I don't do a lot of ties but this one was like super uh different this is a vintage tie and it's satins rangers I don't know exactly what this is i guess i need to figure out what superheroes i'm looking at but i thought that was a really cool vintage tie and then we have one of these really really slim ties with like piano keys all over it again vintage thought that was kind of cool i got two dolls i don't do a lot with dolls like ever um this one is madame alexander again i don't do a lot with madame alexander either little miss liberty but she is like brand new in her box and now there weren't any sold but there were two listed and they were listed pretty high around like 60 dollars I don't know that she is going to bring anything near that, but since she was just like a little bit different and she was very, very specific in her theming and she was dirt cheap, I went ahead and grabbed her too to try her out. And then one more doll just because she was brand new again with the tags. This is the Goldilocks doll by Madame Alexander. Did have a tag on it that says 1978 $85. Um, don't know if that reflects any value whatsoever. Probably not. But um, since she was brand new with the tags and stuff and she's vintage, I did go ahead and grab her as well. Like I said, I don't do a lot of dolls uh, because most of the time they're a miss instead of a hit. But once in a while you find something that's fairly decent. All right, on to clothing. We're going to go quick. All right, Duluth Trading, brand new with tags, just a button-up shirt. Vintage bad boy t-shirt, size extra large. It's got a little uh, coloration issue on the front, just kind of like a bleach look. I might bleach all over it, I'm not sure. And then on the back, it's got kind of like a slogan. Uh, you can have your dreams, I'll take the trophy. Don't know anything about it, but again, they were 25 cents on the table. So I thought I would give it a try. Um, we have a brand new with tags and tailor size medium, just like a little... Kind of like a boxy t-shirt, very sort of career wear. Would not have grabbed it if it was not brand new with tags, but since it was, I did. Um, handmade vintage, I don't know what these are. I think they must, is this like a romper? It's a romper, I knew it, like a um, like a play suit. Like it goes up to here and then the, uh, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, vintage, handmade, love it. Kind of got that prairie farmhouse primitive style. We have a vintage spell out Tommy, like baby yellow t-shirt. Um, did look at the tags inside, it was from the year 2000, so Y2K is gonna be a great keyword for that one my absolute favorite find just because i love this kind of stuff is a single stitch graphic vintage t-shirt and it's got all the amazing neon 90s colors with some cheetahs on the front i just love a good vintage graphic t-shirt all right we have a zara piece um, again this is very like 2000s feel but it's kind of like i don't know what you call this really i guess it's still like a romper or play suit but it's denim another zara piece um this is a sort of periwinkle type color it's not coming across very well on camera but it is and it's got this kind of like tiered peasant look to it i guess like a little baby doll dress we have Ann Taylor Loft. Don't pick up a lot of that, but I do pick up sometimes their structured jackets or their pantsuits because both of those things still move for me. This is an asymmetrical stripe and I believe possibly a linen blend. Lucky brand, again, I don't pick up a lot of this brand. However, this has a very specific style to it. A very like flower power 70s, which may or may not be in right now. And then it's all embroidered as well. Um, this vintage piece, however, I thought was really cool. No tags inside, unfortunately, um, but just what an amazing print all over. Again, super, super 90s, very, very vibrant. Love that piece. We have a pair of overalls. So I did look up the brand. The brand is Squeeze or Hard Squeeze, maybe. Um, it's very much like a late 90s, early 2000s brand. Lots and lots of listings and sold with like Y2K again in the title these bib overalls have been used for what bib overalls should be and for like for work and 
painting and all that kind of stuff so they're kind of messed up but i kind of love it um, and i still think they'll do okay in pristine condition they seem to be selling for around 60 or so and um, so i still think i'll get plenty for them even when they're in used condition because people often do like the style all right we have just a vintage lee denim button-up shirt but it is ut university of tennessee they sell for me all day long almost can't fit in my chair <laughs> all right vintage eddie bauer um not sure if i should have picked this up necessarily but it's a bright orange corduroy button-up shirt and i just thought it was so flipping cool for uh fall again vintage all right we have a vintage russell athletic made in the usa sweatshirt and it's for purdue not super familiar with that school but i thought it was kind of cool very specific we'll have to wait for the right buyer but somebody will buy it um this is just a very random piece of uh, Lula Row, and actually, I only picked this up because I've sold like four pieces of Lula Row this week. I don't know if a comeback is happening <laughs> or not, but this is almost like a swimsuit cover up, so it's a long duster length and it has almost like a crochet kind of lace detail on the sleeves. Um, so I threw that in the pile as well since it's very like appropriate for the season. Uh, not familiar with this brand, I have a feeling it might be Walmart, not sure that's what it is there, but it's fishing gear and it's brand new with the tag, so I threw that in just to do a bit more investigating. Worst case scenario, it'll just be a donation. All right, we have a vintage dress that i just kind of fell in love with so it's like super structured with shoulder pads uh for days and then it's got these cool like buttons on the waist there and then there's this uh polka dot situation happening there it's long sleeve i just thought it was really cool very very like 80s kind of power career outfit to me i grabbed this little top literally just because it's from like the late 90s early 2000s there's the tag paper tag inside um just the y2k vibe again these this is moving for me right now i don't think it will move forever <laughs> but for now that is the style that's moving quite quickly for me so i'm grabbing those kind of pieces uh london fog don't care at all about the brand it is vintage but i love the style shoulder pads and it's almost like a little it kind of reminds me of like members jackets or members only jackets but um it's plaid all over like go on then i just thought that was really neat we have some vintage stencils like for the home and stuff i will just again how 90s are these <laughs> They all seem to be new and sealed, so I'll just lock them up together. Love this little box, by the way, Holiday by Wise. And then somebody has written in cursive Holiday Shoes, which I thought was so cute. Um, and again, these are just the sweetest little vintage pumps. Um, uh, they've barely got... Actually, they've got nowhere, I don't think. Well, maybe like the tiniest little bit. I just thought they were absolutely adorable. Very, very mid-century modern. In fact, even the box is very mid-century modern, like with the graphics and stuff. So I'll be selling those together. Pair of Nike shocks. Um, only grab these because they are in really, really, really nice condition. They look like they have very, very minimal wear at all to them. I can look them up by the style number that is right here on the inside of the tongue. And then I can find out exactly what to list them for and which keywords to throw in that title. All right, this one is a wild card, but it's... It's gorgeous um so this is a vintage three-piece suit in this kind of forest green i believe it's wool we've got the waistcoat underneath and then we've got the pants as well and the brand is right here on the hanger it is eljo's um it says on the tag in here Eljo's traditional clothes university of virginia uh, when i looked it up some of the pieces were doing really really nicely in the soles um so i decided because it was so gorgeous and the color is so beautiful into three-piece suit i was going to give this one a try can you believe that that was 50 cents right, this was a last minute pickup i do need to try and do something about the fact that this is kind of like the packaging is not amazing unfortunately um but it is sophia from uh, the golden girls however i don't pick up all things like this but the brand is the uh, NECA down here so often when you find this brand they're collectibles and they're very short-lived in terms of how long they produce them and sell them for for the most part so oftentimes when you find collectibles like this it's worth giving them a quick scan down there to see how much they're going for um, and this one is going for around 40 to 45. All right another thing that kind of flew in the pile because it was 50 cents but it probably shouldn't have a uh, philosophy size extra large it's just like a blazer jacket however I am going to see if my sister-in-law would like this since it's brand new because she's always on the hunt for that kind of like career wear all right we have another anti loft piece again don't pick up a lot of them but this is just a very very structured uh spring summer kind of blazer white like a cream color with a navy blue very very classic that's it that's everything that is everything i got for 35 dollars. so there's definitely a few things in there that maybe i shouldn't have put in it is one of my first sales of the season still so i'm still kind of getting my feet wet and getting used to things i'm feeling a little bit grabby just because it's been a while since i've been picking but there were definitely some styles of the show in there as well again my favorite piece being the vintage single stitch neon colored cheetah t-shirt i think that's going to do really nicely i'm going to list it high it's going to have to wait for the right buyer but i think they are out there probably on etsy
All right, you guys, as usual, if you enjoyed this video, got any value whatsoever out of it, please consider taking a moment and hitting the subscribe button and the thumbs up button down there. It really helps me and the channel out. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.